before she starts is like a, she is, I think, the could be the role model of all the students here after 11 years, right? Yeah, almost. almost 11 years. She came here to study, and now she is one of the uh, entrepreneur women being successful, having influence to many people in the world like you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, my name is Bambi, and uh, I'm originally from Vietnam. Maybe some of you here know me. Uh, we have met in some trips, some events already. Uh, I'm originally from Vietnam, coming from a very small village. My parents were always very traditional, and they always wanted to have uh, boys instead of girls, because in our society, boys is seen uh, as higher value. So then when my parents uh, were having two girls already, and uh, when uh, they were pregnant with a third baby, my dad brought uh, his friends over waiting in front of the hospital, telling his friends that, hey, if it's going to be a boy, then I'm going to buy you beers. You can drink as much as you want. And then uh, the baby came out as a girl, and uh, that baby was me. And my dad's friends were so disappointed, they all left immediately. My dad also was disappointed, and then he named me Ba, which means number three in Vietnamese, because I was born the third child, and as a girl, I didn't deserve a beautiful name. So I grew up in that kind of world where um, children are not seen for their value, but because of their gender, they are treated uh, differently. Uh, so I was always dreaming of living in a world where all child are equal, they are given equal opportunity, um, and uh, also women, as a woman, then uh, education should also be as important as for a man. But as a woman, as a girl, I always needed to fight for education because parents never thought that uh, girls or women would need that much education. Like, uh, our place would belong into the kitchen and uh, take care of the babies, and that's it. No need to dream big, no need to study too much. But I, I disagree. I believe that uh, education is, is very important for everyone. Education can change a child, uh, change a family, change a village, change the whole world. And uh, I have settled down here in Finland, and this is like the best place that um, um, satisfy all the dreams that I have had before. The, child, the children here are treated equally. The women are not told that you only belong in the kitchen. Uh, I don't follow uh, the news so much, but I have uh, understood what has been going on in Iran, and I re resonate so much with, with the girls and the women in Iran, and I'm very happy that uh, Finland has, has found you as well. Like You have found Finland, and Finland has found you as well to come here and then find this place and call it a home. And I look forward to see more and more uh, boys and girls from, from Iran and other countries to come to Finland and uh, have a happy life here. And uh, yeah, first time uh, attending this kind of event and I don't know so much about the, the Persian culture, so looking forward to have more discussion with you to understand more about the culture and break down the barriers. So yeah, thank you so much. Uh, every year and maybe even on the right day so uh, let's uh, make that happen and I think that this is also something that uh, we can definitely you know like bring to uh, the schools so uh, I don't see any reason why we couldn't celebrate a in you know like uh, uh, Järven uh, uh, Lukia or Keurun Lukia or, or you know uh, wherever you might be from so I think that would be very good and it's uh, uh, a great example of how we can kind of like enrich the, the Finnish uh, culture and, and environment with uh, you know nice influence and of course I think Novruz uh, is uh, a very important thing here in Finland because uh, all of you have been here now for a few months or maybe you know two years uh, know that uh, this is when uh, it starts to get better uh, so uh, it's the end of the darkness and then of course we'll get summer and then we have like only light so I think that that is also very much part of the Finnish culture that uh, because we have the four seasons so we make the most out of all of them and especially summer uh, Finnish people are very different in the summer than in the winter so so that's that's something that uh, you know uh, we, we really 
uh, appreciate having four seasons because in many places you only have one season and that's like pretty boring. So that's part of part of what uh, we appreciate here. Uh, but yes, yeah, so uh, now you're uh, going to high school or you're enjoying the finest future fast program in, in Orivesi, I know some of you. And, and uh, I always say that uh, uh, first of all, as you have already found out, I mean, all the, the high schools, all the schools in Finland are very good. So we really believe in providing fantastic education, not just for a few people, but for all people. And I think that also by doing that, uh, we really uh, offer everybody here uh, the opportunity, you know, the equal opportunity to pursue happiness. And of course, you know, uh, this week was a fantastic week for Finland. So. For the seventh uh, year in a row, Finland was ranked the happiest nation on the planet. And Finnish people are always like equally surprised that, you know, like uh, what is going on. Uh, but uh, I think that uh, uh, for somebody like me, I, I travel uh, quite a bit. I was four days in Tokyo and two days in Hong Kong, just got back yesterday. Uh, I think that uh, to understand uh, kind of like why and, you know, the happiness and, and the equality and like all of that, uh, of course, if you never go outside of Finland, then you just think that, okay, this is normal and this is the uh, way it is everywhere. You know, because for Finnish people, this is normal. Of course, you know, like, uh, uh, we treat everybody the same. We treat everybody equal. Uh, but I know that many of you know that uh, in, in some of the places, uh, you know, it's not like that. Uh, but in Finland, it's perfectly okay to be, you know, like uh, a young woman and run the country. You don't need to be like an old man, like in some places you have to be over 70 or ideally over 80 to run for president. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's, that's something that I, I think uh, is also part of the equality and trusting people. And I think that uh, it's very, very important now that you are here. All of you have the freedom, the freedom to do what you want to do. So. You know, starting with high school, starting with vocational school, but you can be anything you like here in Finland. And uh, you should take that opportunity, you should make use of that freedom. And with that freedom also comes, you know, responsibility. It's your responsibility, you know, to learn the language. Also, you know, Finnish people can be a bit shy, uh, so you shouldn't. You know, so don't be shy, you know, talk to them. And typically, you know, like uh, uh, once you find, you know, like a uh, Finnish friend, you're friends forever. So uh, Finnish people don't take friendship like lightly. So when Finnish people ask you how you're doing, it's not, you know, like in some places that, okay, yeah, I'm fine. And then, you know, end of discussion, but they actually like care and they, they want to know how you're doing. And probably you have noticed that the teachers here in Finland actually care. So they will also ask you like how you're doing and if everything is fine and they will make sure that everything is fine. And if it's not, you know, like, uh, let's make sure that we take care of that. But also, uh, uh, we perfectly <laughs> understand here. Yes, and it's also perfectly fine to disagree, you know, so yes, uh, <laughs> try to keep it, keep it uh, you know, uh, short. But yeah, I, I think that that is uh, actually one very important thing that, uh, uh, in Finland, you can also, uh, you know, you can have your own opinion and uh, it's perfectly okay to disagree with, you know, like whoever is in charge. And I mean, if I think that our finance minister is an idiot, I can say it and I will not end up in some camp or disappear. So it's like perfectly okay to do that. And uh, exactly. <laughs> and you should always, you should make your voice heard. I think this is something that uh, it's very important. So if there's something that you need help with, and that was what I was getting to is, uh, you know, don't hesitate to ask, you know, of course, in your school, you know, ask the teachers, the principal, you know, uh, the uh, study counselor, whoever, uh, or your friends. Uh, but also, uh, you can always uh, call us. You can always call anybody in the finest future team. So that is something that, uh, you know, I really encourage you to do. And uh, uh, we have talked to a lot of you about things like summer jobs. So a lot of you are here in the summer and you want to work. So uh, I think that uh, that is one area, you know, that we can help with. Also, uh, uh, you know, uh, helping with then uh, which university to go to, 
you know, after uh, high school or, you know, like wh where to find work after vocational school, you should be in touch with us. So uh, that's something that, again, we're here for you and we want you to be very, very successful here in Finland. So uh, that is something that, uh, again, you know, don't hesitate uh, to uh, contact us. And, uh, yeah, as I said, you know, here in Finland, uh, you have the freedom to be all you can be. So make use of that. That's your responsibility. So, you know, really uh, make sure that you make the most out of it. I think it's uh, very, very important. And uh, there is plenty of opportunity. So, uh, again, uh, we're more than happy to help you make the most of those opportunities. Uh, there's plenty of jobs. There's plenty of stuff to do. So uh, it's also, uh, uh, you know, it's a win-win. Uh, Finland, Finnish society needs you. And we hope that uh, you can make Finland your home. So uh, again, uh, uh, super happy to see all of you here. And one thing that you should also tell your friends that, you know, it's not too bad. Uh, so uh, we'd love to see many, many more people from, from Iran and from all over the world, you know, next year when we celebrate, uh, uh, you know, Novruz here again. Uh, hopefully there will be many, many more of us here uh, in the room. Uh, one very actually practical thing that I would uh, suggest that, uh, you know, uh, not everybody knows everybody, but uh, what we could do is like just start uh, uh, a WhatsApp group for this event. Uh, so then we can, you know, like share the pictures and videos and, and everything with everybody. So uh, everybody that wants to join that, uh, let's, uh, you know, uh, do that uh, during, during the evening here. Uh, so I think that's a great way to connect and, uh, and then also a great way for you to, to contact us. But uh, once again, uh, great to see you here. Thank you for being here. And uh, if there's anything, you know, don't hesitate to ask. So, uh, yeah, welcome.